Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be going over a number iteration tool that I built in AutoHotKey. I was using the GUI, graphical user interface, to compile the script. This script that I'm currently showing you, the driver numtool.ahk, is a driver which will call the actual number iteration tool.ahk file. I assigned the following value to call this iteration tool, and the value is right here, close bracket, 1 dash n. So let's go ahead and do that. Close bracket, 1 dash n, and you can press the space or enter key, and this will bring up the number iteration tool. Here, I'm going to press the number 19, for example, you can press any numeric values. If you type a letter A or any alphabet and special characters, it will not allow you to do that. It says only type a number here. And the delimiter, I will do vertical. So it's going to print vertical 1 through 19 with the parentheses delimiter. Let's press OK. And you can see how quickly it printed 1 through 19. Let's do that again. 1-N. And say I need to print 37 numbers in a type delimited horizontal way. The H you can see represents horizontal and the V represents vertical. If I click OK, this printed 1 through 37 using a pipe delimiter. And you can see how fast it prints numbers. Let me do it one more time, 1 dash n. And keep in mind, I assigned this 1 dash n because it doesn't interfere with anything else that I'm doing in a day-to-day -day basis. You can assign any value here to call this number iteration tool. But yeah, keep that in mind. Um, this is customizable. Let's go ahead and print, I don't know, 150 um, numbers with a period vertical. Watch the speed of this. Literally within seconds, it printed 1 through 150. So you can see it's very customizable and somewhat useful if you need to print numbers real quick. Let's go over the code itself. And before I do that, I will call the iteration tool again. And I'm going to step into the code itself. So the header of this tool is called iteration number tool. And the iteration number tool header is down here on line 35, title of pop-up box. And I try to put comments on my scripts so that way people know what the script is doing and how it is configured. The, the section on the top is default when you create a new auto hotkey. Um, this will be printing uh, by default. The only thing I added was the file path and I gave it the script full file path. The please enter the number of times you can see it is on line 15 and I gave it a text. The box itself, it is right here, line 17. And I said it to only allow number. Otherwise, people would be typing in ABC, press the OK button and the tool wouldn't work. So that way you have to make sure you coded to only allow numbers. And here are all the different radio buttons. You can see how it goes from H, comma, space, and so on. The default button, OK. I made the OK button default. You can see the little blue line around it. And once you click the OK button, here is the logic that happens in the background. So if it says, if my radio H 
is true or one in this case and if the numeric is not empty loop through the number that you enter here and it will send the index how many times and add a comma and so on so you can kind of see i'm reusing the the, the if statement with the different variables and also what to send so the first one i'm sending a comma the second one i'm sending a space bar the third one is a tab you can see i'm adding a tab or sending a tab type my radio horizontal period and you can see down the line how I'm doing all this and let's say here's the logic if I click the edit button so if I click the edit here's the warning message box 4 warning that's the title of this message box and it says are you sure you want to edit this file if you say yes it will run notepad plus plus or you can code it to run the regular notepad and it will open that file path which is this file i'm gonna say no and then down here is exiting so if you close the gui it will exit the app if you hit the quit button it will also exit the app you can also press the escape button on your keyboard that will also exit the app and that's it so let's go ahead and quit this i hope you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to my channel because i love doing this showing my tips and tricks and i hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching